We everyone know that Raspberry Pi 4 is one of the cheapest and portable credit card sized computer that lets you run many Linux distros out of the box. There are tons of Linux operating systems available for Raspberry Pi 4. The official Raspberry Pi OS, formerly known as Raspbian, is the default operating system that you may have tried. But this OS is a bare minimal and doesn't let you seamlessly customize the look of the OS according to your fancy. Raspberry Pi OS is based on Debian Linux, but the end user may not be able to take a full advantage of Linux customization. This is where the Twister OS comes to the picture. With Twister OS for Raspberry Pi, you can seamlessly switch between Windows 10 and Mac OS looking desktop environments with one simple click. This is a quick overview of Twister OS running on Raspberry Pi 4 and also at the end of this video, I will be showing you how to install Twister OS on your Raspberry Pi 4. Let's get started. Starting with the lock screen, you can see it completely looks like a non-Linux distro and gives a powerful Linux desktop experience to the user. By default, it loads up the Windows 10 look and here you can type Raspberry as the password to login into Twister OS. This is the default desktop look that you get to see upon booting. As you can see, the developer has optimized the OS in such a way that looks clone of Windows 10. The menu bar, taskbar, and even the icon pack of the office suit do look relevant to Windows 10. When it comes to pre-installed applications, I like that Twister OS comes preloaded with carefully crafted applications that make our life easier. The Office Suite includes word processors, spreadsheets, and PowerPoint presentations. These applications can help the user who is into official work-related tasks. Also, there are a lot of game emulators you get to see in Twister OS like RetroPie and more. There are so many other applications that are pre-installed which make one of the unique operating systems for Raspberry Pi. Along with Office Suite, Twister OS comes with VLC player that lets you play video and audio extremely well. I tried playing 1080p video and handles the video playback without any hiccups. Along with Office Suite, Twister OS comes with a VLC player that lets you play video and audio extremely well. I tried playing 1080p video and handles the video playback without any hiccups. Twister OS comes with a default Chromium browser that does let you play videos at 1080p from YouTube. I heard on the internet the browser lacks playing DRM-based content that Netflix and Amazon Prime rely on, but still some users manage to stream from Netflix, Hulu in 1080p. One of the things which I like about Twister OS is that it comes with a tool called Commander Pi that helps to overclock your Pi with ease. Keep in mind, without any proper CPU cooling, overclocking is not recommended. But if you have proper CPU cooling installed on your Pi, you can follow on-screen instructions of the tool. The developer has given default values that you can simply type and set to overclock the Raspberry Pi to improve the performance. Now it's time to talk about the big things of Twister OS. This OS offers to switch between the different desktop environments. Currently, I have applied a Windows 10 look for the Twister OS, but if I click on the switch to iRaspbian, a terminal window may pop up asking to continue. Once you do that, boom, Twister OS will switch to iRaspbian theme. Now keep in mind, every time you switch between the different desktop environments, you may need to restart the Raspberry Pi. 
Now as you can see, this is the Mac OS look running on Raspberry Pi. Take a look at the desktop. The developer has done an incredible job for Raspberry Pi. It looks very similar to Mac OS, but underneath it's just a Raspberry Pi OS with iRaspbian theme. Overall, I would say Twister OS is a Linux distro that is based on the Raspberry Pi OS that emulates the Windows 10 and Mac OS looking desktop environments with many advanced tools and customizations. Now let's get into the installation part, the prerequisites of this video. You need a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM for better and smoother experience. A compatible power supply to power the Raspberry Pi. Also, you need a 16 gigs or higher class than SD card for faster read and write speeds. Additionally, you may need a keyboard, mouse, and a proper internet connection. Now, go ahead, download the Twister OS image file from the link in the description and place it somewhere inside your desktop for easier navigation. Once it's done, now extract the .exe file using WinRAR or 7z extractor. As you can see, the file size is around 8 gigs after extracting the downloaded file. Now connect your SD card to the computer and download and install Balina Etcher, a software tool that helps in creating a bootable SD card for Raspberry Pi 4 with Twister OS. Now here, choose select image option and look for the image file you have extracted. As you can see, this is the file. Let's gonna go ahead and select that file and select the destination source, which in case the SD card. Now click on flash, sit back and relax. The flashing process may take a little bit of a time depending on the speed of the SD card. Now once it's done, eject the SD card safely and insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Now go ahead, connect your display, keyboard, mouse and speakers as well as power supply and turn on the Raspberry Pi. That's it, now you have successfully installed and booted up the Twister OS running on Raspberry Pi 4. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to give a huge shout out to the developer of Twister OS who made it work as smooth as on Raspberry Pi 4. 
thanks for watching this video i hope you like this if you do hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get post notifications thanks for watching this video this has been ks Kiral. i'm gonna catch you in my next one peace